Right, I'm just sat here going through the internet and someone needs to break this down for me because I just don't understand. The coonery is just legendary in 2011. Now, I've heard about this Jamal Edwards guy, SBTV. Yeah, okay. Now, let's face facts. Who's, 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 it's mostly, it's mostly black artists and black people supporting this thing. He's a young black guy. He's attracting, is a black, it's a mainly black culture driven thing of which everybody is participating on. But once again, this, everything has been refined now to be black and not acknowledge the black but act as a Judas goat for coonery. And what I've just seen here, I can't believe it, one of the, the biggest conservative racists from the Bullington Club, Boris Johnson, is here on SBTV, the one who described Negroes as having watermelon smiles being interviewed on SBTV, a conservative, a racist, someone who would see you dead. But... You know, SBTV obviously think it's a good idea to have Boris Johnson um, advertising the debate they've got down at, in Parliament at Port Cullis House. Now, I do understand that certain things need to be engaged in. I do understand that sometimes you have award ceremonies and, you know, in, irrespective of which government is in power, it's good to have people from the local community acknowledged for their efforts. I totally understand that. But if you're going to go to number 10, Okay, and you're going to have a, a, we're talking about David Cameron now, someone who sanctioned the war in Libya in which black people are getting killed and lynched. Black girls are getting raped. Black men are getting executed. They're all being found lying all over the hospitals, dead with their hands tied behind their backs. We're seeing a race war going on in Libya. There was a race war in 2011. There was a race war in 2011 going on in Libya. These are NATO mercenaries killing all the black people, primarily the first people of Libya, were black people. And what is the London Negro doing? Well, I, you know, they're having a fantastic opportunity to uh, meet one of the biggest mass murderers in this tri tripartite, um, or uh, England, uh, France, and uh, America, uh, raping a country. And what? Well, and what? All I'm seeing here is coonery. I'm seeing coonery. Tinchy Strider. Coonery. I don't know who this dude is at the end of his little number 10 rhyme. Coonery. This is what you do when you get to number 10. Okay. Now I understand that there are awards. This is an award ceremony and so forth. But how can you be so used like this? No one from my generation would ever even think about engaging with the very same party that has... Oh, Boris Johnson, I mean, it was Boris Johnson's cuts that took away the youth clubs in Tottenham that helped f ferment this riot. I was always wondering what those youths were going to do on the street during the summer. Boris cut all the money for all the youth clubs, and now you've got him on SBTV advertising him to black people as though he's okay. Okay, David Cameron is prosecuting a war in Libya in which black people are getting slaughtered in large numbers. And, 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 and Jamal Edwards, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? This is coonery, okay? Tinsley Stride is a coon. Already. Okay, let, let me just get on to this, okay? Let me ask you guys out there. Which one of your MCs? And you can look at If you want to do the coon test, let me show you the coon test and all those ones who have sold out. Ask yourself this. Of all of those rappers that you listen to in the UK, yeah, your your gigs and your your wretch free twos and your your tinsy striders and your what's the pregnant head? What's his name? Um, chip monkey, right? Which one of those guys warned you about the brewing situation in the ends? Which one of those guys warned you about the cuts that were going to be made and the possible violence to come? Well, you like violence, don't you? I thought you you guys are hard man, big man on road, big man on road. Yeah, okay, well, you know, the, well, here comes the violence. Which one of you predicted the violence? That element that you say you love and, and are so at home with. Which one of you predicted though the circumstances, yeah, for, for, for that environment in which you so, supposedly thrive so well in, yeah? Tinchy Strider, Giggs, Rich Free 2, Pregnant Head. Yeah? I was born a champion. Yeah, well, the nation's in the nation's in flames, but you was born a champion, right? Okay, that's good. Right? Because the coonery, 
right, utilizes the coolness of black culture and disassociates itself from black culture simult simultaneously. That's what the coonery does. Now, if you want to spot your coons, well, here's, the, here's how you do it. For every single release that comes out in the future, if 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 these rappers from the ends that that was that that had a riot, which is probably going to be the biggest event in your lifetime, the biggest social upheaval event in your life. Well, I think there's a bigger one to come. But for 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 you young guys who've never experienced a riot before, and I told you they were coming, I told you they were. Now, when 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 when, when your rappers come out with their with their news, when your grime artists or whatever whatever you want to call it, yeah, yeah, chewing gum for the ears. Yeah, when these guys come out with their new tunes, which one of them is going to be talking about the police brutality and the police crackdown? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which one of them is going to be talking about um, police goading young kids into 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 violent actions and then beating the shit out of them and giving them criminal records? Mm hmm. Which one are you going to talk about the only decent black people that did the only real revolutionary thing during the entire um, disturbances, the austerity rights, which is firebomb Nottingham police station? Hmm. Which one of you, which one of them is going to talk about, which one of them is going to talk about that, that one black guy that stood up in front of about five, six police and they were trying to beat him up and they couldn't even move, move him down the road because the black man is powerful. Hmm. Which one are you going to talk about that, which they showed on the news as supposedly the worst examples of writing? And all that guy was doing was standing and holding his ground. He wasn't smashing anything up. That looked like a legitimate protest. But which one of you is going to, which one of you guys is going to turn him into a hero? Hmm. Yeah, the, the, none of them are, right? Which one of you guys are talking about? Uh, but I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, they're going to have some rhymes about how they, how they shank a man, yeah? Uh, another black man. They're going to have rhymes about how they shank another black man. They're going to have rhymes about their mythical guns and how about how they're spraying down people and blowing people's heads off. Yeah, they'll still acclimatize you to the sounds and sights of killing other black people. Okay. Wouldn't even think about taking out anyone from the police. No, 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 no. Which one of you is going to even do the math and add up the numerous black men who have died in police custody? Which one of you is going to inform through this medium of rap that you have hijacked? Which one of you is going to inform um, the public that not one single policeman has been convicted of any of the murders? Hmm. Which one of you sell out? Coon ass rappers are gonna do that. You know why you're not gonna do that? Cause you're coons, okay? And I see you, okay? There are no legitimate British MCs. Well, well there are, there are a couple. We, we know who they are. You know, it's your Akalas and your, your low keys, right? And your logics, yeah? There's that breed and obviously that breed aren't getting a look in because, you know, those, those guys can make people intelligent. Yeah, you're not gonna see them invited to 10 Downing Street. No, 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 no. You're not going to see... Well, and, and these guys down at 10 Downing Street here, it's quite funny. When the, the big events go on around the world, I don't see Russia Today or Al Jazeera or Press TV or or, or any other um, independent... Or, I don't see them coming and asking Titchy Stride his opinion. I don't see them asking Wretch Free 2 his opinion on what's going on around the world. I don't see them asking Giggs on his opinion on what's going on the, around the world. Do you think it's because their opinions are irrelevant? Do you think that might be it? And maybe Akala might be intelligent and con can contribute. Okay, maybe Loki is intelligent and can contribute. Right? So, what are these people that you're listening to? And what are they doing to you? Where are they leading you? Which one of these coon ass rappers is going to address the circumstance in the hood that made them big? Hmm. Right, I look forward to hearing it.